Um, bitterly disappointed. Um, it was nowhere near good enough. Um, but I don't really want to talk about the performance because you know there was one standout performance for me, and that was the fans. I thought the fans today were absolutely magnificent. Um, they stuck with us all the way through the game. Um, as loud as I've, I've probably heard them, um, they were magnificent, and we didn't deserve them today with the performance that we put out. What disappointed you most about the performance? Just um, didn't. It was below par. It just, you know, all the fundamentals that we expect, the prerequisites, we, that, they weren't there. Um, so, uh, to sum it up, it was, it was, you know, unlike us, and uh, we're bitterly disappointed. But, like I said, the, the fans were excellent for us today. And you must have gone into the game feeling quite confident after that second half display on Tuesday. I mean, I don't think anybody saw that coming. Yeah, no, it was a performance that, that we never saw uh, in the group. Um, we thought we'd turned the corner on Tuesday night and we were, we were we put on a real performance and the boys really fought and, and battled. Um, but, you know, whenever you get beat heavily like that, it's... Um, Normally down to other factors, so you know the where the mentality has changed from Tuesday to to Saturday. I don't know, but that's 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 usually what happens in scenarios when you get beat heavily. Oxford made a bright start even before they scored. They were dominating possession. That time seemed to set the tone for the game. Really, didn't it? Um, I'm I'm not sure on that with the, with the start. To be honest, um, I know that when you concede a goal really early on, which um, you know, I'm not going to. It was a foul, probably on Jack Payne, um, but that's that would be a, a weak excuse. Um, but when you concede a goal early on, it's um, you're always up against it. And you know, we we conceded one early, and with them getting that second one, it made it a really difficult afternoon for us. What was your message to the players at half time? I mean, at two 0 the game wasn't dead, and, and you made a couple of changes. No, it's the, the you know the score line. You know, we want to we want to go for the game. Um, the score line at two nil. Quite often, whoever gets the, basically whoever gets the next goal goes on to win the game, um, and they got the next goal, and they went on to win the win the game. And you know we um, we really fizzled out. What were the players saying after the game? Was it could they could they believe it themselves that they played like that? What, and what was your message? Was it was it a time to rant away? Was it just a, a time to speak to them and find out what happened? But what was that the leading dressing room? Um, you know, was, they were they were down, um, you know, but quiet as you would be, disappointed, probably disappointed with yourself. Um, so you know, they, they, it's it's like anything. The the professionals and they've lost the game and not performed very well, so they're not they're not going to be happy with themselves. What now for your team? The new manager is going to take charge on Monday. He's in the stands today. Are you going to be remain part of the club going forward? Is that, is that what you'd like to happen? Yeah, yeah, I'd, I'd love for that to happen. And um, you know, I'm still contracted to the club, and you know, I've been um, you know assured that my job's safe. So um, I'm happy with that. I think the appointment is a is a really positive one, and one that that we need at this moment in time. He's got bags of experience. Um, he's a really good coach, and you know, it's another person that I'm looking forward to working with and, and learning from. Uh, no, no, I've not. I've not met him yet. Um, I'm sure we'll pick up a conversation um, tomorrow. Um, but like I say, I've, I've watched him from afar, and he's, you know, he's, he's done a, he did an excellent job with Oxford, and obviously got his uh, move to Leicester. So he's um, he's really, really good coach, really good man manager. I spoke to a lot of people who know him, and uh, I think he's the right man for the job. Is it going to take a bit to pick the players up, or do you think like a new manager coming? Again, you know, football's a, a game that is largely in your head, and the mentality, you know, can change that. So um, I think they'll be settled, hopefully, when he when he comes in, um, and then we can start building. You know, this this the result didn't go very well today, but the fans were still with us, which is excellent. And you know, with, with the new manager coming in, we can we can build on what we've we have done before. 
um, and keep the club going forward. Yeah, I mean, it's obviously a, a day to forget today, but it's important to remember that the club's in a good position in the league. You know, do you feel there's a, a lot to be optimistic about for the rest of this season? Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, that the, you have to you know, have to remember where the football club was to where it is now. Um, and I've I've lived that journey, so I've seen the growth. Um, so you know some re some results that go against you. Um, you know a, a, a small place compared to where the football club was three and a half years ago and where, where we are now. So we can you know we can um, hopefully just keep building on that. It's never going to be in a straight line. It's never going to go. You know it's never going to be easy. You know we're at, we're at a really good level where the margins are much tighter. And if you perform under it, you get punished, and we got punished today.